catching this type of fish on this type of tackle is a very dangerous thing to do. It's, it's impossible that you'll really understand that adrenaline rush until you sit in that chair, hook up, and nearly get pulled overboard. Seven, eight hundred pound, thousand pound fish cutting back and forth through the water. You have to really second guess if you're ready for this. Awesome fish! Woo! That's what you come to PEI for. National Guard Pro, Scott Martin. Yeah, this is my show and my challenge. Each week I go out on the water with a different pro angler for a little friendly competition. Scott Martin, you're going down. No money on the line, just bragging rights. Yeah! <laughs> Scott, look at that, buddy. <laughs> About to get a little freak nasty on him. Yeah! I've spent my entire life fishing. Bass fishing, of course, all over the country. Saltwater fishing in the Keys. Hey, John, I'm here. Hey, Scott. Man, hurry up, get down here. Dude, it's tuna time. I talked to Tony, the fish are biting. I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm fired up. 2,000 miles, buddy, and I'm here. You know, from Miami to PEI Islands, several thousand miles. You know, getting here, flying in, going through the airport, driving up here. And, and hearing all these stories about these giant bluefin tuna. I was ready, but I wasn't sure if I could handle it. Man, I'm fired up. Man, I'm glad you made it. Woo! Good to see you, all man. All right, good to see you. Now I heard they're biting. They are biting. I hope you've been lifting more than 15 pound dumbbells. Yeah, look at that. Been doing sit ups. I'm ready to get after them. You told me we're going tuna fishing. We're not tuna fishing, we're giant fishing. Giant tuna fishing. We're going 800, 1,000 pound tuna. Oh my gosh. Scott's been calling me for the last couple weeks in preparation for this trip. And I was really, uh, really concerned about him coming up to PEI. He's a bass fisherman. Bass are the size that we use for bait a lot of times, right? You know, we got in late into uh, PEI Island, late that night, and stayed in our little cabin. We got up the next morning. I'm, I'm anticipating a great day in the water. I'm, I'm excited, I'm nervous. All those conditions, all those thoughts are going through my mind. But it's raining, the wind's blowing 30 miles an hour. I'm ready to go. It's windy out there. Yep. It is windy. It's rock and roll. We get down to the harbor to meet Tony. The wind is stiff as a board. We left early, so we'd be, be there at uh, sunrise. And uh, it worked out tremendously well. There was a couple of heron boats, not a lot, which is key. We start going out through the harbor. We get out to the open water there. And sure enough, I mean, we're talking big waves. I mean, the boat's crashing through waves. It's dark. I'm getting nervous. Camera guys are getting seasick. I'm worried, man, I hope I don't get seasick, you know? We get out there, the sun starts coming up. I look on the horizon, all I see is herring boats, fishing boats, diving seagulls, whales. Everything is just like this plethora of uh, life out there with all these big fish. Sure enough, everybody's hooking up. We pull up, we get rods out. We barely have enough time to just even think about what's going on. You might want to wear this. What is it? Oh, yeah. That's Best it. investment, Bass Pro, five bucks. It's a yeah. line cutter. If if the line wrapped around the tip of the rod or something, you got yeah. pulled overboard, save your life right there. We talk about anticipation. How do we get ready for the trip? Truthfully, there, it was hard to actually prepare. It happened so quick, uh, we actually weren't ready. He hit it. Oh, oh, oh my yeah. gosh, dude. Holy cow! Right in the boat! Yeah! You know, Scott came out, he wanted to try to get his grander, and I don't think he has any idea how spoiled he got on day one. There's giant monster bluefin tuna eating right at the boat. I'm talking thousand pound fish right now. Woo! I mean, I'm five minutes into the day, there's fish both sides. Woo, that real singing now! The ah, car ah. he's getting a little noise! Absolutely incredible. It's just fast and furious. Hey, just wait till he figures out he's hooked. Tony throws it in, and within a few seconds, I'm hooked up. My dream of catching one of these fish is about to happen. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Evan Rood E-Tech, power, performance, and 300 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. And by Garmin.
Fight your fish, not your fish finder. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Laser Trocar, Surgically Sharpened Hooks, Okuma Fishing Tackle, There's No Stopping Okuma, and by Bob's Machine Shop, Go Fast, Go Shallow, Go Efficient. Make sure to follow the Scott Martin Challenge online to stay up to date with all the latest videos, fishing tips, and much more. Don't forget to find us on Facebook for a chance to win a fishing trip with Scott Martin on world famous Lake Okeechobee. I saw him eat it. He hit it. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Woo, woo. Powerful. Woo, that reel's singing now. <laughs> My dream of catching one of these fish is about to happen. I mean, I'm five minutes into the day, there's fish boat side. I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, we are talking about a thousand pound fish. When we see a small one, uh, a small fish is what we call a 600 pounder. I mean, absolutely nuts. That's usually a fish of a lifetime for most guys. We're seeing 800, 900, thousand plus pound tuna. That's exactly what we came out here for. I don't know what gets bigger than that. I mean, when you're talking true grander type fish, there's not sport fish out there other than marlin, maybe big tuna, or maybe some, you know, some big sharks out there to catch. So I'm up there in the top league of things, you know, to tangle with. Holy cow. This fish is stripping drag out. It's running all over the place. And all of a sudden, boom. Oh, it might have pulled. The fish comes off. And I get stuck in a net. This fish, the first fish I hook, busts off in one of the nets. It runs the line through there, and I lose the fish. And I'm thinking, man, five minutes into it, I've hooked up. Am I going to get another opportunity to catch one of these monster bluefin tuna? He pulled. Hey, it happens. It happens. That was fast and furious, dude. Yes, it was. You know, this thing, is it, dude, almost pulled me in the, in the ocean. This is wow. the thickest I've seen the fish. Dude, they're blowing up bait on top water. Yeah. Unbelievable. Just think if you threw a popper out there. Huh? And I see that rod just snap back and almost hit him in the forehead. And it, I mean, I could just feel he's just crushed inside. I could see the reaction on his face. I knew he was in for a battle. And uh, you know, we were hoping he was gonna get something that was gonna spank him pretty good. Before I know even what's going on, my adrenaline's still pumping. Tony spins the boat back around. The mates grab another bait. We're back on the fish. Now there's big bluefin tuna at the boat again. We throw it out, and right off the bat again, I'm hooked up. All right, let's try this again. It's getting familiar, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm strapped up. I'm ready to go. I'm fighting this fish. And when I talk about power, you know, I, I really wasn't sure how to prepare for this trip other than just, you know, mentally preparing for it and just trying to go through all the different things that, that would be happening in my mind but when i was strapped in and they put those ropes on that on that reel they strapped me into that rod and then john he he leans over and he says you might need this when you're buckled in here got a rope tied to me for obvious reasons 400 pound line 300 pound leader it's unbelievable big makaira 80 Stand up tackle. That's in for the week. Every single year there's mates that go overboard from leadering fish. There's anglers that get pulled over. You're strapped directly to that rod and reel. So it can be extremely dangerous. My adrenaline's pumping. I cannot believe it's finally, you know, it's happening. I'm fighting it. 20 minutes goes by. 30 minutes goes by. 40 minutes goes by. I'm starting to see leader on this fish. Hey, can I have a sandwich? Getting close. We're getting close to landing my monster tuna the very first day out. And what happens? The line breaks. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Bummer, it man. It busted off. I don't even know how the line broke. We had full on it. We're getting the last little bit. That was a huge fish. Hey, nice work, uh, though. You're close. That close. The fish made a move. I felt a funny little pop in the leader. Next thing you know, the fish is gone. The rod shot back, almost hit me in the face. I mean, it was just, it was exciting, but yet, am I going to get another shot at one of these, one of these fish? I, I wasn't sure. 
I see that happen and I think, man, I get, I get that next fish. So I'm pretty fired up. I know he wants that grander, but I'm out here also. I want to get a grander as well. Woo! Yeah! Closed captioning for the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. Check us out at angle-usa.com for more information and a chance to win a guided fishing trip with Scott Martin on Lake Okeechobee. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Bruiser Baits, knocking out the competition. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. And by River to Sea, lures that produce results from River to Sea. Oh man. Bomber, man. Bu busted off. We had foam on it, we're getting the last little bit. That was a huge fish. All right, man, your turn, I'm passing the torch affectionately called the cutter. I hope I don't need it. That's the old crap <laughs> cutter, right? Exactly. Yeah. I'm pretty fired up. I know he wants that grander, but I'm out here also. I want to get a grander as well. 30 feet, marking fish. Fish on, fish on. Fish on, baby. Woo! I've watched the shows. I've watched the guys out all over the world catching bluefin tuna, dropping down 80, 90 feet, catching these things. But here at PI Island, they're boat side. So with these fish migrating up in here around Prince Edward Islands, where do these fish end up later in the year? Well, they, they leave here, but they're absolutely the fattest and make their long trip back to the Gulf of Mexico where they spawn in the spring, early summer, and they come right back up here. Oh, no kidding. Yep. So they travel that far. Yeah, That's amazing. By, when we first get here in August, by the time we leave in October, all these fish that we were seeing have put on 150 to 200 pounds. Oh, no kidding. Wow. You can yeah, watch this them grow. So. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Unbelievable. Woo! Yeah. Dude, look at that thing. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. 900 pounds. 900, baby. Cut them off, here. Well, right now uh, on PEI, we've got so many things going for us with the monster bluefin tuna. Uh, the big advantage is we're so close to the shore. Even today, we went fishing and uh, possibly if you were to steam 100 miles, we would not have even made the trip. But we're steaming two to three miles to get to our fishing grounds. We're fishing in 80 feet of water and catching monster giant bluefin tuna. That's the thing that most people are so amazed about is that these fish come so close to the land on Prince Edward Island with no water, 40, 50 feet of water. That was great, man. <laughs> hey, that's what, that's what we came here 900 for. pounder, dude. That's unbelievable. The northeast of the United States for many years has been the place to go, but those fish are migrating. They're coming up to PI, and this is a spot. There's only two places that I know that you can consistently catch monster grade, you know, tuna with the potential grander size fish on every outing. That's going to be in New Zealand or Prince Edward Island. And right now, PEI has got the, the edge because you have the shorter run out to the fish. Unbelievable. That's what it's all about right there. That is awesome. Woo! Good job, Brett. Thanks, Tony. That was great. Good job, Scott. Yeah, that was a nice fish. Good battle out of him and stuff. 115 inches. Yeah, he was 900 pounds. Good, nice, fat fish. That time of the year, they're starting to fatten yeah, up. So. so, I mean, things that big around. Yeah. yeah. Just massive. It, it felt like it. They fight hard. They fight yes, hard. They unbelievable. Good job, guys. Unbelievable. Thanks. All right, hey, you're up. <laughs> Let's get one, man. You know, my biggest fish up to date was 250 pounds. It was a shark I caught off the coast of Florida many years ago. You know, after John landed that monster 900 pound tuna, it was my turn. Tony spun the boat around, we fished for a little while, and sure enough, we started seeing marks on the depth finder. He started saying, get ready, boys, the fish are coming up. We started seeing them at 60 foot, 40 foot, 30 foot, and sure enough, here they come. We drop the bait back, and we're hooked up. They start screaming for me to get my harness on, get strapped up, and get ready for this battle. Nova Scotia style, baby. But let me tell you what, this thing was putting the heat on. It almost pulled me out several times. I promise you, within a pound or two, either way, if something would have gave, I would have got hurt. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Startron, 
Enzyme Fuel Treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. And by Hendry County Tourism. Hey guys, this is John Bretza, Director of Product Development for Okuma Fishing Tackle. We're out here in PEI, Prince Edward Island, up in Canada, fishing aboard Tony's Tuna Fishing with Tony McDonald, one of the best captains in the world for the giant bluefin tuna. This is the best place that we know of anywhere in the world to test a big game reel like this. This is a new Makaira 130 that you're going to see in 2014, probably introduced at the ICAST show in July. We're pushing this drag. We've had it set up to 85 pounds of drag, really putting the wood to these fish. The reel's been holding up phenomenally. The Makaira 130 features our dual drag system, so that's why you can get very high-end drag pressures. You're not going to get that handle binding. It gets a new T-bar handle. It's going to be oversized when it hits the market. It holds 1,000 yards of 130-pound monofilament. You get a tremendous amount of uh, line capacity on this reel. If you're a blue marlin fisherman, a huge uh, mako sharks, or say big yellowfin tuna, big bluefin tuna, this is the reel for you. Oh, that's unbelievable. Wow. You know, after John landed that monster 900 pound tuna, it was my turn. So I get strapped in, and all I can think about is how great a job John did fighting that, that 900 pound fish. We got a screamer. Woo! That's what we're talking about. So I started trying to emulate what he was doing. And I, to be honest with you, I felt much more comfortable on that second fish. It might splash. Oh, there he is. Something splashed. Oh, oh look at that fish. He's up top. We got him up top. Oh, my gosh. That's power, dude. That's power. All right. I've had more control of the fish. I felt better. I was in better position for the fish. I kind of knew what to expect. And that was much more enjoyable for me. Oh, man, Scott's hooked up again. Uh, he lost his fish earlier in the day. I just landed mine, but he's on again. We're having a, uh, just an incredible day with these fish rolling up on the boat. Let me tell you what, this thing was putting the heat on. It almost pulled me out several times. This isn't some Nova Scotia fishing vacation, boys. This is PEI at its best. Thousand pounder, baby. The quest for the thousand pound tuna. I honestly thought I was going in the water. Several times this fish pulled so hard. What was that? I promise you within a pound or two either way, I was with him going in. If something would have gave, I would have got hurt. Oh. 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 <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> hey, you do have that rope on me, right? Who's driving this truck? Me or him? I'm pretty sure this is a thousand pounder, dude. He's on his fish of a lifetime. You know, Scott told me his biggest fish was about 250 pounds. He's hooked into a potential grander right here. And he's fighting that fish. The rod is just bent over on stand-up tackle. Fighting the fish in. I'm getting excited. I'm hoping, please don't break off. Please don't pull a hook. All of a sudden, we see Leader. Mitch, the mate, grabs the line, starts leadering this fish to the boat. Look at that thing, guys. I unstrap. I come over there. I'm leaning over the boat. Sure enough, Steven takes the tail gaff, wraps the fish up. We successfully have the fish boat side. It's a caught fish. Good job, good job. Good job, Man, that was great. Nice work. Man, fine job. Fine, awesome. finally, finally. Tony estimates it. I'm going, is it 1,000 pounds? Is it 1,000 pounds? Is it our grander? He says, no, it's close to 800 pounds. Even though I'm so excited because it's so much bigger than anything I've ever caught before, it's still not that 1,000-pound fish that I'm looking for. Not quite as big as mine. Looks like it's going to probably go uh, maybe 750, 800 pounds. 
So I, I'm feeling pretty good that I, I, I got a strong feeling that I, I beat him out on our first day out here fishing. I'll tell you what, man, the PEI tuna fishing with Tony is unbelievable. Tony's tuna fishing, dude, you rock, man. I mean, you've got it going on. Three major hookups today. We landed two. Yep. You got a 900 pounder. I got one that was like seven, 800 pounds. I lost a 1100 pounder, right? Yep. Big I'll tell fish. you what. Big fish. My quest for the 1000 pounder continues, my friend. Awesome day on the water. Thank you. Fortunately, we had one more day of fishing. And I'm thinking, you know what? We've got to make this happen. The 1,000 pounder has to happen tomorrow. Thanks, Tony. The quest for the 1,000 pounder continues, my well, friend. We always got tomorrow. Uh, fishing was pretty good today, so we'll just keep going and cross your fingers for tomorrow. Hey, we got so close today, though. We got close. This is what I'll say about it. I'm ready for it. <laughs> ready? <laughs> Woo! That Let's go, guys. Awesome. <laughs> Next yeah. week, tensions and emotions run high. Got a meeting right there. Tune in and enjoy the action as challenge records may fall and the stakes will be raised. Yeah. Don't miss it. For more information about how and where we fished, be sure to check out fishhound.com, your best resource for great fishing.